As you've seen in excruciating detail, no institution in American life has come under more ferocious attack from the mob than local police departments. In Minneapolis, police are being abolished entirely. In Los Angeles and New York, their funding is being slashed dramatically. In cities around the country, monuments to the police are being vandalized or ripped down. In the city of Atlanta, Officer Garrett Rawl faces the death penalty for shooting a man called Rayshard Brooks after Rayshard Brooks stole his taser and fired it at him. So what are Republican office holders doing in the face of this unprecedented attack on our laws and on public safety itself? Well, not a lot. Few have stepped up to defend the police from totally bogus accusations of, quote, systemic racism. Some are repeating that slur. One Republican, though, has gone farther than that. As we told you last week, Senator Mike Braun of Indiana has introduced legislation to make it easier for left-wing activists to sue police officers. We must do this, Senator Braun explained, in part because Rayshard Brooks's death was egregious. I wanted to put a template out there that protects law enforcement from frivolous lawsuits, but holds the egregious departments and individuals accountable uh, in these egregious you know, instances of a George Floyd, a Rayshard Brooks, a Breonna Taylor. In case you suspect we somehow selectively edited that clip, here's Republican Senator Braun going all the way in endorsing Black Lives Matter. You support the, the Black Lives Matter movement. I support that movement because it's uh, addressing an inequity that has not been solved, uh, you know, from a grassroots level. After our segment on Thursday, Senator Braun asked to come on this show to detail his position. Of course, we're happy to have him. Senator Braun, thanks so much for coming on. Before I ask you about qualified immunity and your attempts to water it down, I was very surprised by that endorsement that you gave on camera of Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter has, of course, called for the murder of police officers. Why do you support it, and are there any other race-specific revolutionary movements that you support? So, Tucker, thanks for having me on in the first place. I know when you uh, came course. out, and I like it when somebody does challenge, especially something like this, when you're talking about changing something that's been around for a while. And, Tucker, I come from Main Street. Uh, your uh, viewers are my supporters. And I've got one of the most conservative I don't know voting about that. records. No, that's true. Okay. You'd have to check with them, just like I checked with the Indiana State Police, Indiana Sheriff's Association, Fraternal Order Police. Spent over an hour with them last week to make sure I wasn't off base. And here's where I come from. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm confused. Really quick. Hold on. You're, you're off base in your support of Black Lives Matter. Your endorsement that you just gave. Have you read their website or? Are you in no, favor of I, abolishing the nuclear family? What, what do you support exactly no, in the Black I'm not Lives at all. What does I, that mean? I, okay. I support anybody that does have a grievance to be able to air it. And that's it. Uh, that doesn't mean all lives don't matter. It just means that if you think a certain sector of society has a grievance, it ought to be through transparency and the willingness to debate it and get it out there. I'm going to always go on the merits of the particular case. And going back to what I learned last week, first of all, uh, law enforcement in Indiana thought was talking about eliminating it or drastically modifying it. This was to, to find that sweet spot to where they said they are being unduly stigmatized because of these events, because in some cases their own aren't held accountable. And when they knew that, they basically said, we need to be in the discussion. Look how we got rolled with Obamacare when we refused wait, wait, to discuss wait, wait, hold it on, 10 hold years on. ago. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We just showed yeah. tape of you, Senator, saying that we need to pull back. We need to make it easier to sue the police because of, quote, egregious incidents like the death of Rayshard Brooks. You said you wanted to speak about specifics. Do you believe that he was killed unjustly? Do you believe Officer Rolf deserves the death penalty, which he now faces? What did you mean by that? Please. I believe you ought to have the ability to, uh, just like when anyone's civil rights would be violated, that you've got access to uh, due process, to have your case well, heard. But they do. That, but they well, do they have do. that right. Qualified immunity, hold on. Qualified immunity has nothing to do with that case. He's been charged. They have the right to sue him under qualified immunity, as you know, since you're writing the, the change to the law. So that's irrelevant. I'm asking about the case you cited it. Do you believe that the officer now facing the death penalty deserves to face the death penalty? And if you don't, tell us what he should have done. 
I think that that's going to be determined by the court. And when it comes you to cited that it. civil... So what, wait, hold on. You cited it. What do you think of it? You're the one who called it egregious, so why don't you tell us what I Officer Ross Barrett... should have done when this man fired a taser at him? What do you think? I think that uh, you probably should have had the judgment that in a, a traffic stop like that, you don't shoot somebody in the back. So uh, if we keep doing okay. that... So let what me should he... Have... Wait, let hold me, on. Let... Hold on. No, no, no. I want you to explain. I think it's fair. You're an office holder. I don't normally press people like this, but it's not fair for you to filibuster without answering my question, which is very simple. The officer facing the death penalty had a guy fire a weapon at him. What should he have done then? Probably not have killed the guy. And that'll come out So what out should he have done? Court. He no, should have well, probably not... You're the not... one saying it's egregious. Let him go. He, he sh... Do you think he was going to get away? Uh, they were going to find him. Uh, you tell me. You tell me. You're the one judging the officer. So maybe that, you could explain why you're judging him. Uh, Tucker, that'll all come out in the court process. And all I'm saying, let me finish this. If we don't get better at it, for all of us on Main Street, Democrats are going to spin it. Uh, Chuck Schumer's already decided he can make hay of this in the election. And we'll end up on the short side of it again. If you're wanting to say Who controls the Senate? Does Chuck Schumer if, control it? I thought Republicans controlled the Senate. And you so you're taking six, your cues you, from Chuck Schumer? You're, you're have saying 60, Chuck Schumer might criticize me, therefore I have to pass a law that makes it easier to sue police? Tucker, okay. you know you have to have 60 votes in the Senate to get anything done. You can check my record. Yeah, they're about I'll to change that when it. they take over. And even law okay. enforcement in Indiana thinks that in some of these cases, it's giving them a bad name and bad apples ought to be, uh, there ought to be due process there for the victim. So what law and enforcement groups are endorsing your bill? They're not endorsing it, but they said it was a good oh. template to work from. Well, why so. aren't they endorsing it then? You've cited them twice as supporters of this idea, but they're not endorsing your bill, so they don't actually support it. So why are you bringing them up as they evidence think it's that a, it's a good idea? They think it's a better idea to be in the discussion than be outside of it. But if you care what they think, why don't you write something they'll endorse? And that doesn't necessarily mean we won't get there. That's not going to be done today. The Democrats now think they can win with it in the election, and that's why we needed to be engaged now in a way that would have kept it on so the table. So you need to write a bill that law enforcement won't endorse. The country's burning, not because cops are burning it down, but because the mob is. But you think the morally culpable party is the police, so you're making it easier for left-wing groups to sue them. Am I missing something? You are missing it, but you're trying to put words in my mouth. I don't think no, you not. can justify I'm... any of the looting, any of the rioting, and if you don't address the underlying issue, do you think it's going to fix itself on its own? You think it's going to get better? Do you think the underlying Probably issue not. is Rayshard Brooks being shot? Is it... So you're telling me that what's happening now is the result of police behavior. It's the police. It's the fault of the police. That's what you're saying, because you call no, it the underlying I'm saying... issue. What they're getting by with on the other side is trying to generalize on the specific, and they'll get away with it if we decide to do nothing. That's just a general disagreement and approach. What about, I believe, are you making it easier for business owners to sue the mob for burning their businesses down? I haven't noticed that bill coming out of the Senate. <laughs> hey, if we're not in the discussion, Tucker, we're going to be on the sidelines like we are on so many issues as conservatives because we fail to engage and they run circles around okay. us in the end run. You think you're going to keep the Senate in the fall on this platform? I think we're going to keep the Senate if we uh, at least are willing to engage in issues that are important to the American public and that we don't always stand on the sidelines until it's too late. It's more about yeah, when I, you I get involved in the issue. issue. I don't think the public supports you at all on this. I'm, I'm with I respect. Think, I just don't. I, don't I think, think law enforcement. Right I think law enforcement knows they need to have a better system than what they got now because it's stigmatizing right. them unduly. Okay, Senator Brown, thanks for joining us tonight. I appreciate it. You bet.